Hey guys, your worker bears, and welcome to another to uh, another review for MLP season seven. This is the review of episodes eight and nine. This is a little late than normal because it took me days to find nine. Like I I got a video. I found a video uh, a good quality video. You know, with decent sound and of eight the day it was released, but nine I only saw today. Nine I only saw today. I only just finished watching nine. So it is what it is, you know. So let's start with episode eight. Hard to say anything. I was so worried when I heard the um, synopsis or the plot of this episode, what what this episode was going to be. I was so worried that we were going to get Heart and Hope Day 2. Luckily, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. There was some uh, iffy moments. In the episode, but all in all, the episode wasn't as bad. There was no like schmoopy doopy whatever fuck they were talking about back in season two. Stronger than you. It was a lot different. She works. Um, it was interesting. It was um. I will find her. She's my family. My daughter. In the, She's all I've got. When it boils down to it, it's like never. Hard to know today. And uh, it's kind of like the same. And it's only it's Big Mac's side of the story. It, it's not them trying. It's not the CMC trying to help Miss Cheerley find uh, a point. He's the. To be her special at some point. It's th they're helping Big Mac this time. Big Mac was just throw was just kind of like an innocent pawn back in uh in Hearts and Hope Day. I think that went quite well, considering. Of course, I wouldn't have told him, but that's why it's so no. liberating. Me. This time he was the main focus, of course. Him and uh, look forward to that. Sugar Bell. Um, the episode. How it was interesting. Um, and um, one thing I learned from this episode is to never, ever go oh, on mm, film fiction or deviant art immediately following an episode like this. Like, most episodes will have a, find out what something that, you know, you can make a, a joke about. Oh, you know. Because this, ep cause this show has more... Points to the building. As, as a lot of people thinking dirty all the time for some reason. In terms of, um... The, uh, in terms of what happened during the episode, how they can turn that into a like a sexual fic or a comic or just a sexual whole thing in general. Um, I was Arkham Knight. He's got on. I need to confirm which car he took her in. Twitter, my friend DM me. He said, you know, have you know, if you've seen episode eight. That's the Arkham Knight. He's got Barbara. I'm like, I yeah, I, I just Curry finished watching it. And he's like, hey, what did you make of the uh, sexual there. puns? That's I'm the like, what sexual puns? In. He, and he, he starts giving me he, uh, I can program the best Sugar Bell was looking for a lot of apples. It'll lead me right to them. Well, and Big Mac was bringing them to her, and I was like, "Yeah, so." And then he says, 
I'm sure she was looking for an apple in her oven. And then I got what he was trying to tell me. He didn't click immediately, but when he, he, he um, boiled oh, it right down to the point, I was like, oh, okay. I get what you're talking about. You when I shot that. I just so that, that's what he, uh, he was talking about. He was uh, clearly, seriously, clearly in making reference to the fact that. Oh, if I'd only had a video camera when I swept Barbara off the seat. <laughs> Poor old Jimbo had anything to do with the slideshow. There's um, you know, you could easily take it as Big Mac was going to um do more than deliver the fruit apples. You know. Clearly that guy my uh my my uh, friend on Twitter clearly has a very dirty mind, which um I'm sure a lot of people were thinking had uh, had that thought. And I was like, you know, oh, the sad thing is, if I were still the tire tracks will lead me to Barbara. I can use the if I were um, if I if I had the capability of actually sitting down in my uh, a good people will think I would write something about that. <laughs> Uh, I, I can't imagine someone is is working on that, something like that. I mean, Arkham City. Go through the files of every inmate who was released following the death of Hugo Strange. I don't, I don't know if they knew about Barbara. The one thing I don't know what the show drop your guard was trying to do. I don't know what the writers were, what what the uh, what the purpose of this episode truly was. I don't know if this is like setting up for something. Maybe you know this is gonna build up to Big Mac eventually getting growing a relationship. Sugar Bell maybe he, he, they get to a point where they're married or something like that. I don't know if that's gonna be the case. Um, Big Mac is one of the most popular males to ship with. Similar devices are being planted across it. the city. I'll investigate. The females in the show, like, he's shipped with just about everyone because he was, like, the first male character that we met at, at the start of the show. Oh, oh with, like... It's a bomb, and, Alfred. Like, a well-armored one. I don't know in that case, sir, if it was immediate, but... Close. I'm going you to can a remote link you, to the bat computer. If you look up every like, ships for Big Mac, you hacked in. see him. I can expose the core. All main six, including his sister. Surely has already deployed a platoon he, of unmanned tanks to stop you. They won't. He, he shipped with the princesses. He, he shipped with just about everyone. He, he's a fairly popular the device. Sure. Choice. Obviously. As you predicted, sir. He's trying to The idea the is that you know, requested have been deployed. We need those gloves in place, Sergeant. I don't know, is it first come first serve in this situation? I, I don't know. Drone feet offline. Um I don't know if this is like the whereas of the show like Okay, so we've uh, seen. And, um, but we did we want to um, give Big Mac something. We're not gonna go with, you know. I don't know if they'll ever, like. I don't know if they'll uh, ever have another big wedding with major character. Like, kinda say the wedding. Shining armor with a character playing. If we do get something with Big Mac, it won't be like with Flourish Shy, which is one 
very popular on Marble, which is another popular one. I can use the cousins to trigger or control. People don't give a shit. Incest is a, a really popular thing in the, uh, in the uh, shipping world of the of the show. Um, you think that's it, Dark Knight? Oh no! Oh, I was as I was walking this I was like, all oh, people are gonna be pissed because they love the ship. And they, they will not, they will not take too friendly to... Try. Sir, that warning was broadcast publicly. I suspect the Arkham Knight wishes to discourage outside intervention. To, um, Big Mac. Almost, it almost, like, the showers were, like, taking him out of the, well, I mean, just because... It, it, even if they do something with Big Mac, doesn't mean he'll uh, be out of the shipping in a uh, frying pan. I mean, canes and shining armor. Or, Find me their access point. I see. He constant um, the network traffic. It seems to have all been rerouted to fix that have shining canes. Then that's where they'll be. Being in an open river because canes is the princess of love. Bridge. Which, you know, it isn't too unbelievable if you think about it. I don't think that's ever been, uh, something that will ever be a kids show. I don't think we'll ever see. Like, we never actually see. We've only like seen one instance where Kings actually had had a first hook involvement in which is being with the flashback during the Camelot wedding yeah the state of crawling with the Arkham Knights the, militia uh, I need to clear the them first out time. And find the access point they're using to hack yeah, the transport we didn't see her really use that again when, you know, unless, unless you count like when her and Chinese horns touched and blew the changelings away. I don't know if that would count as well. I, I, I don't know. Let me know. But, um... So, my thoughts on this episode, and um, I'm not going to dwell too much on the other guy, uh, Featherbang, I think was his name. He's uh, played by the same guy who voices... Pre um, he, uh, he's voiced by the same guy who voices uh, Flash Sentry. He Vincent Tong or something like that? I'm not... Too sure on his Stay name. Low. Keep quiet and take him out one by one, right? Not today. Um, Team up. Watch each other's backs. Yeah, in interesting. Um, I, I don't know what. what are, they, are they trying to say something to that actor? Because they, they, they seem to always give him that role because he's voice. I'm not shining on him. He voices, um. Of course, he voices. Flash Sentry. I think he voices some other character as well. Other than Flash Sentry and Fairbanks, I'm not too sure. Um. But all in all, all, it seems like he's mostly giving the, uh. asshole who's trying to steal. Pull the girl oh, kind of thing. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know if that's the writers trying to tell him something or not. Maybe they think he's an asshole. Well, I don't know. I don't know. What the, I don't know what the 
what the uh, point of that was. Don't lose your if, if there is any point to it at all. There could be absolutely nothing. It could be totally, totally, utterly meaningless. It could be just... Maybe it's a joke. Try to make him the most, one of the most hated act actors on the show. He's probably already the most hated actor on the show. Just for the fact that he's a lot of flash and friends. He's a lot of work. They didn't need to give him another role. Oh, which. where he's like. pretty much doing something similar. Or. but somewhat different. Um, but yeah. I don't know what that is, um, I don't know if that's trying to tell the, uh, the actor something. I think he's here. Who else would it be? I'm the sure he's, um, one by one. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure the person is, the is he hiding? nicer than the character he voices. I don't know, I don't know who he is. Revenge. Like, I don't even know if he's had any Using the floor grades? Or, Good move. Here's mine. He might have had other shows. I, I don't know. Like, like I said, I barely know. I barely know his name. So, there's that. But, um, what did I think of this episode? Um, it's, it's, it, it was okay for what it was. Um, I was expecting it to be cringe. Which it wasn't. So it has that going for it. It's not too bad. So, you know, you can definitely watch it again if you so choose. If you don't, you know, that's, that's your personal opinion. I mean, you can. Any. Uh, yeah. We, we all have different opinions about episodes. Screw you! I'm on my own. He's gonna get you, you know. People. Could have easily liked this episode and hated an episode I, I liked. That, that's the beauty of of the um, of the uh, of the show. We're all allowed our own opinions. And, um, if if you really like this episode, no, I'm not gonna tell you you're wrong. I didn't. I, I don't. Nothing really wrong with this episode. Like I said, it's it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's not it's not cringe. You know, it could. You know, it, 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 this could have easily gone the way of Hearts and Hopes Day, but I think the 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 show writers obviously. Obviously, they wanted to do another episode like this, like that, but less cringe for fear of what the fans, the fans might have absolutely, there, there might have been a fucking, there, there will have been a, a shit storm of hate towards Hasbro, more so than they would get on a, on a normal basis from people who don't like a certain episode. And, or a certain character or whatever. If they had done another really bad episode, another really cringy episode, like uh, Hearts of Birthday, so I guess they, um, I guess they didn't want to give the fans that as a possibility. I guess they didn't want to. Um, so yeah, this episode, it's rewatchable, definitely, well, like I said, uh, you could, that's, that's the beauty of having differing opinions, we can all have different 
opinions about different episodes very easily. Um, this episode wasn't cringe, like, um, like it's sore predecessor for Hearts and Houston. I don't know if you count it as an actual predecessor, I mean, the only, the like, Knights men taken care of, I can real link that the episodes the share is the fact that they are both romantic episodes that are... Including the Mac and all the excitement. I almost forgot. <laughs> Possibly entering in a relationship. Give you if you save her. Except one was total utter cringe that a lot of people hated, and I think there'll be a lot more. The bridge controls. I think a lot more people will be accepting of this episode, depending on whether they are totally blinded by the fact that oh, oh, big. Think it is. Enigma. Mac can't earn a relationship unless it's with this pony or that pony or that pony. Why would a bad man? So I, 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 on one hand, you can kind of like see what. Uh, uh, I'm I, I'm trying to think of how who Hasbro are trying to what what Hasbro are trying to gain from doing this episode, but I can't really think of anything. Shock, Dark Knight. So that's um. <laughs> you didn't expect this, did you? So I don't know what. To uh, say about that. Because you are no what I will say is, the red red red. is um, we can definitely... Did you think I would just forget our last meeting, Dark Knight? You humiliated me. I know we you will not discuss. Um, impossible. You cannot do it. I have one already. I will mock your attempts to solve my future. I will stand triumphant I over think... your bloody corpse. And I like I said. I think more people will will uh will be how I will be accepting of this episode than they were. Come you know, to the I think detective. I don't know if this was like to combat hatred that came to Hearts and Hoods Day. I, I I don't know. I really do not know what. What do you call a guy who takes down the Maybe we'll find out as the uh, season. We got really uh, two Apple sibling episodes in a row, although the episode 9 was kind of like Apple Jack and Mary. A little different from. Why? Although I'm sure uh, people who like the ship uh, Applejack and Rarity will uh, be uh, very happy about. I do. What I will say is, who do I have to talk to at Hasbro to get an episode where it's Applejack and Twilight? It doesn't have to be a shipping episode. It doesn't have to be any romantic. All I want. Hunt is an episode where the t who solve a problem or or deal with something the two of them. Come on. They're they're like the only pair of the uh, six that haven't had an episode to themselves and do not count um, that the um episode from so from season one. Um, is it Apple Box season? Something like that. I, I, was it Apple Box season? I can't fucking remember what the episode was called. But if you if you remember season one, you you remember the you know the episode I'm talking about. That doesn't count. We all know Twilight was inserted to a lot of episodes that could have easily been done without her. Or, like, I don't know if you could really count this one. That man? That had count be that you. one? It was like, better be you know. sorry. Although, it could have been done with any other... It could have been... Okay. Like, it would have been a little different with someone else helping Apple to get over 
We're leaving. For uh, stubbornness in that episode, but. Not. Ah, both contestants are finally here. I guess Stay Fair Dark Twilight was the best galore. option, but. To me, that doesn't count. Me introduce my beautiful like I said, it doesn't have to be romantic, it doesn't have to be a shipping episode. All I want is an episode where, like, you can send them off to solve friendship problem. Like, when you can design Apple's practically have a problem that she needs Twilight's help, help with, or vice versa. It's, it's just stupid that they have not had an episode where they are together. You're just okay, to get to survive. Right? I don't know, I don't understand it. No. I not store for you than hitting things. It it it, it makes zero if, sense. If you enjoyed that, detective. It's the most fun you'll have all night. You see, Dark Knight, this feisty felonious feline has been fitted with a shiny new collar. With each challenge you complete, you'll get one yeah. little key. Collect every key and the anyway, um, episode nine. An honest Apple. Like, I I get the feeling they are running out of stories that they can tell for Applejack because they're repeating themselves over and over again. This episode was so bad. I'm sorry, it was. Even if even if you were like, like we'll be back right away. I, Applejack is one of my favorite ponies. He's, and while I don't, I don't really like Rarity. He, he, her involvement in this episode already. That you want him in position at Mercy Bridge. Diminish it. The problem is with Applejack. They regressed her so much. This, this looks like it belongs in season one, since I was talking about season one. It is so stupid, well, so backwards. Boys, it's just it quite the dilemma. Un it? Do you save the really annoying or the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped? Personally, really to see you know the work that they've done with <laughs> Applejack. You can't save all of over or the past couple of seasons. They can't, you, you, you can't tell me that this didn't go, oh, you know what, all that, uh, all that stuff we've, uh, all that great work we've done with Applejack over the past six seasons, yeah, let's, uh, let's just ignore that, okay, let's, uh, let's, that, that sounds like, sounds like the, uh, hell of a time, sounds like a hell of a time, so, some reason that that was the case. I don't know why. It made absolutely no sense. Completely backwards. Completely, utterly retarded. Like, if this were a season one episode, we'd be like, okay. But this is season seven. You're telling me this is a season seven episode somehow. How did this get snuck into season seven? Just uploaded. Were were the were the writers on crack when they came up with this story? Did, have they just completely forgotten all the other Applejack episodes in the past six fucking seasons? And it happens to Applejack and Fluttershy the most. They always get a great build up in their their story, and then pretty much to the next episode, oh, they're all of a sudden back to stage one in their development. Wait, what? That makes no sense. That that literally, that makes zero sense. It's completely and utterly stupid. It is utterly stupid. So, I don't know who came up with this idea, but they need to be fired. They need to be fired. I hate this episode. 
I don't know if this was like, I don't know, maybe they were like, oh. Doesn't look good. Nothing far out. They, they, they couldn't leave well enough alone. On, on. I was, I, I was willing to say, you know what, okay. They, they surprised me with it, the episode with Rainbow Dash's parents. I'll, I'll give him that. That they did. They surprised me with that episode. But this episode... This episode made up for it, didn't it? For a completely stupid... It, it's storytelling, because they can't tell a story to, to save their fucking lives. This gets a big fat zero. It's awful. If you enjoyed this episode, you are clearly a new fan and you've not seen the build up of the series so far, in which case, you know, good for you. But I would say go back, watch the previous six seasons, then come back, watch this episode, and you two should fucking hate it. Unless you don't enjoy Applejack. Pack or rarity, but really, I don't like rarity, and that's not the problem in this episode. It's like the Flourish Day episode. It, the problem wasn't with it, in particular, but it was a little different with the Flourish Day episode. The Flourish Day episode had n the problem was not really with Flourish Day. It was just illogical storytelling. But with this, the problem wasn't with rarity, so it's not because of rarity I'm giving it a bad play. I'm not giving it a bad rating because of rarity. I'm giving it a bad rating because it's stupid. It's completely ass backwards. It makes zero sense. And it's just, it's just completely and utterly retarded if you are a long term viewer of this show whether you like Applejack or not whether you like Rarity or not you have to be aware that this is completely backwards it's completely stupid and it doesn't deserve to have seen the light of day but it did, and it's getting a zero because it's utter shit. So, congratulations, Hasbro. You made up for for not disappointing with it, the uh, Rainbow Dash episode. Oh, by fucking up with Applejack's episode. And I dread to think what's going to happen when they come to talk about the parents. Oh my god, I see. Seriously, think I might actually give a fucking negative rating if they really fucked that episode up. The episode we've been waiting for since season one, mind you. But if they fucked that up, I might have to give it a negative rating. I don't want to do that, but I'm, I, I'm, I might have to do that. Maybe it contains. That might be the case. I really don't want that to be the case. I hope that's not the case. But, shit. Drop my controller. Um, but yeah. It makes absolutely no sense. Completely illogical. Ass backwards. Mixing his DNA with a vampire I mean, bat? Um, that was never going to what? end well. If I search through his files, I may be able to create an antidote to his condition. I need to isolate the man bat signature and remove it from Langstrom. I talked to um, a friend on Twitter and he said maybe it was written by a new writer. I, I don't know who ripped the I, who, who ripped this episode. But they cannot be this. If you are writing for an episode, if you're writing for a show, do yourself a favor. Actually watch the episode at least once. 
before you write an episode on it. Sounds like a sound strategy. Um, no, apparently it's not. It, it, unnecessary, as it turns out. Don't even worry about it. What are you talking about? You're, you're logical. That's oh. it. I've created a clue. Not thinking, you know. You have to get someone I to do is who's I have never seen in an episode, or has no concept of good writing, Alfred, or is just completely like brain dead, no, or is just fine. some hobo you, you drag know. off the street, and you're He's not in control paying him that. with a banana. No one knows this city better than you. I don't know. I don't know who wrote this episode, and I don't care. Because they don't deserve to breathe if they are this stupid that they don't understand the story that has been told with Applejack in the past. And they just decide, you know what, let's, let's regress her to season one Applejack. Because that's stupid. And we have to do something stupid, otherwise people might actually think we're competent. What is it about dead relatives that turns you into a giant So that, that episode, I will never be watching again. If you enjoyed this episode, there is something wrong with you. Who, who, even if you don't like Applejack, you can't have liked this episode. I don't care if you love Rarity to bits. It's, and this episode is not anything wrong from Rarity's point of view. She didn't do anything wrong. You know, she she wanted Apple to, heck, to help her out. Oh, and I, well, just, which made, made sense from a point of view that, you know, she's a friend helping another friend. And, 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 and Applejack's opinions are or, well, honest. They are what you expect. Maybe he really so, is she, she is the element of honesty. And you rarely, literally, he wanted an honest opinion. So, oh, that's why she, he went to Applejack. She could have gone to any. One, but she wanted to make sure she got a perfectly honest opinion, and that's why she went to Apple. But I really wish she hadn't gone to Applejack because uh, if she hadn't, we wouldn't be sitting here or with this. Like I said, she could have gone to anyone. She could have gone to Starlight. She could have gone to Twilight. She could have gone to Pinkie Pie. She could have gone to Rainbow Dash. For fuck's Idea. sake! Tell me they're okay. Oh, well, maybe not Rainbow. I'm getting them back. Maybe not Pinky. I shouldn't even be here. I was laid off two weeks ago. Oh, she could have gotten Sweet Bell to fucking be a judge. And we wouldn't have gotten this piece of trash. At least someone in this place. So, yeah. Episode 8 gets. I. Did I? I didn't. I don't, I don't think they gave my rating. Did I? I. I. I I'm I'm giving it a six point five. It's it's rewatchable. Oh, but um, you know it's nothing special. That's episode eight, by the way. Episode nine gets a zero. It's lucky it's not getting a negative. Okay, let's let's just clear that up right now. Okay, so um, that's that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of these two episodes. Oops. And um, hopefully I will not have to who sit there and wonder why so how many people are fucking retarded. Until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.